Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend for those of you guys that are celebrating in the United States. I wanted to hop on today and do a quick video on a topic of interest in my life right now. And I know that this may be of interest to a lot of people because I haven't talked about this in a minute. We're talking about grounding ourselves, earthing, grounding, um, taking care of our root chakra. For those of you guys doing spiritual work, you know what I'm talking about. So my daughter and I had our weekly feminine date today. Uh, we do these dates every week. We go out to lunch and shopping and we discuss important things and just kind of hang out for the whole day. And one of the things I noticed when I was out with her at the mall was I had this feeling when I was walking, like I don't know where I'm putting my foot. It was this feeling of like, I'm going to fall down. Um, it felt like there was going to be stairs where I'm walking and I didn't know and I was going to fall. Like it was a very like unstabilizing feeling as I was walking. And I immediately, of course, recognized this as a root chakra imbalance. And I haven't experienced this in a hot moment. And I think because of that, I have started taking certain things for granted and letting go of certain rituals that I do pretty much very religiously. And so I caught myself, called myself out and immediately started practicing the things I'm about to share with you. So let me backtrack for a moment and explain what happens. So when we are, when we have a root chakra, root chakra imbalance, we can start feeling very unstable, ungrounded in life. It can show up as anxiety, worrying about money or the future, worrying about where you're going, worry about things, um, you know, about your safety, security, money, things like that. And also if you're doing a lot of spiritual work, but not grounding yourself immediately afterwards, this can happen when you're doing deeper level inner work as well you know, you wanna, you want to make sure that you have some kind of a grounding ritual. I have been doing my grounding earthing uh, rituals for many, many years. I talk about these in a lot of my courses. You guys are familiar if you've been following my work for a while. And recently I was uh, short on time because of all the new changes happening in my life. And I started skipping on it. And this was possibly the worst time in my life to skip on it because as you guys know, my husband and I are going through a huge uh, purchase. Like we've never spent this kind of money. And because of that, and because I continued doing my spiritual inner work, I started like losing my balance a little bit, right? So immediately when I noticed that I felt like when I was walking with her, we were holding hands, but like I felt like I'm gonna fall, like I don't know where I'm landing. So here are some easy earthing grounding principles. First, I just simply put my hand on my womb space and I just reminded myself that I'm safe. And I imagined as right there in the mall as I'm walking, I imagined that there were roots coming from underneath my feet, going through my shoes, my heels, everything, and going and going through all the mall flooring into the earth and taking root and immediately just imagining those roots coming from my feet and taking root a root into the center of the earth immediately centered me and grounded me and i was able to start kind of um you know my energy started coming back down into my body and grounding myself and feeling kind of secure again that i can walk without feeling like i'm gonna lose my my balance right so then when we came home, as I was even driving, I was saying affirmations that I'm safe, that money gets to flow to me. I get to flow money out in large amounts and it always comes back. So that's another one of those, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're saying your affirmations and rituals to just kind of breathe them in and ground yourself. When I came home, I um, gave my husband a big hug. Again, uniting with the divine masculine in your life. It doesn't even have to be a man this could just be the divine the universal divine masculine right that exists in god consciousness that exists in the structure of the building that you're in the chair holding you up the ground right all of that is the divine masculine and receiving that hug and kind of letting myself melt into him also is a very kind of grounding experience um, because like you feel okay someone's got me i can lean back and just kind of let myself go 
Another thing I did is I went into my backyard barefoot and I walked on the grass. Doing this is very important for your health. There is a wonderful documentary on YouTube. It's a free documentary. I believe it's called The Earthing Movie. If you search for it, um, you should find it. If not, I will go ahead and um, let me actually Google it for you guys and post it in the first comment and pin it there. And it's a wonderful documentary that shows you all of the benefits of earthing, like all the health benefits as well. And there's been many, many studies done on this. Um, we also have earthing mats that I use uh, in the winter if we don't feel like going outside. We have earthing mats in my house, like in every floor, so my children and all of us can ground ourselves. So that's also another thing that you can do to settle your energy back and, and kind of um, get the, the flow going. Now, some deeper things that obviously I haven't you know had time to do this today, but another thing um, that you wanna do is maybe go and get a Reiki se uh, session. Those are amazing to get all of your chakras realigned and um, I know that the lady that I used, she's a, a friend of mine actually, Sapphire at Evolve Alchemy. Let her know that the Universe Guru sent you. Um, she also does like a chakra analysis and I haven't had one done in a while. So I probably need to go back and have one done now as we're, you know, doing this big house transition. I think some things are coming up and that's normal, right? Like I was actually journaling on this after I came home that... My husband and I are new money. We don't come from money. So obviously it is understandable that making a new life purchase like this, more money than either of us has ever spent, is going to bring up some stuff. That doesn't mean that, you know, that you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't mean that, you know, you've got, you know, it's not a sign. It's just a normal process of expanding your container. So I think I would add to this list, like having grace for yourself and other people around you um, is also important during, you know, huge life transitions. I think as women, a lot of our imbalances show up as like a root chakra imbalance first because safety and security is such a huge human need. It's our animalistic need. And so it does show up um, and that's completely okay. Now, before I let you guys go, I also want to add that if you do a lot of spiritual work, meditations, um, embodiment rituals, you know, anything that kind of opens up that portal of um, the quantum, like I say, right? You want to make sure that you do your grounding. My therapist, when I was in therapy, actually told me this. She said that when you do any kind of deep healing work, spiritual work, you want to immediately ground yourself afterwards. And it helps all of your energy and your consciousness kind of return back into the now moment. And it closes up any portals that you have left open. And her advice for grounding was kind of interesting. I had never heard of this one before. She would say that immediately look at something in your room with legs or feet. Or like it could be like a lamp or a chair. Something that was like rooted into the ground. Like, And I thought that was an interesting one. So I have actually added that to my list of uh, kind of grounding rituals. If I'm you know, doing some kind of a meditation or anything and I open my eyes, I will immediately look around the, the room and find like a chair or something to look at and that will also ground your energy. So since this actually happened to me today, I was like, okay, let me come on here and share it with you because I'm sure there's someone out there that may be experiencing that like loss of, um, power or feeling like grounded it, it shows up a lot as worry and anxiety i personally am not worried or anxious because i've been doing my inner work for a really long time but for me how it showed up was feeling like the ground was literally being taken from underneath my feet and that, that was it was almost kind of funny when i was experiencing it so but like the old me now like if we go you know, six, seven, eight years ago, it would have definitely shown up as worry. So it's going to be different depending on where you are in your inner work journey and how this shows up for you. But just being graceful with yourself and kind and, and it, not letting it be something that like something's wrong with me or I'm blocked. No, this is normal. Remember that we have a human side and a conscious side, a spirit side, and the human side just needs that extra like reassurance. And I often will tell my clients that it's almost like you have to like 
soothe your nervous system as if it was a child because it can feel very ungrounded or like lost or like what is going on when you're doing this deeper level inner work or making these really huge life transitions and that is perfectly okay it is part of your journey okay also i have something really amazingly delicious happening for memorial day weekend it is only happening for 48 hours so you can find that information in the first comment as well as the description box i also emailed it out so if you are not on my email list girl you need to get on how do you get on my email list you go in the description box and it says get your free container workbook you go ahead and get that free container workbook and it adds you to, adds you immediately to our uh email list all right babe i've got to go i've got dinner literally on a timer on the stove so i've got to go run but i just wanted to come here and share this message for you today i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye